Hmm. Uh, doesn't we have a case to solve or yes yeah. with a hollow oh. pen oh yeah we should look up that pen but also the hooker what is it with you and hooker it's our it's our main look. suspect we haven't even bothered look. to talk to her i mean i thought you did Pretty talk sure to her. our main suspect is learning more about which oh, wait, you went here. secretaries are trying to she kill her. threatened to kill the murder victim. Yeah, yeah. Right. Boss, you might want to tell them what you heard on the radio. <clears throat> what I heard on the radio? When, when you called it in to ask about the hooker. He wasn't here for that. Oh, we we looked up the hooker. What? Yeah. Well, Not you were trying way. to turn off the sun. <laughs> which congratulations again and uh yeah arrested in jail during all the time of all of this and mm. high prostitution all of the things for okay. her charges that's good we should still talk to her that sounds all right uh, uh, would you like a turn holding the bomb on your lap? Yes. Yeah, take this. I had to turn. <laughs> I take it. Uh, right, everybody, meaning uh, uh, Sheila, please reduce your hand down to four. Oh. And I'll put you back on the uh, picture map. Right, so uh, the bomb is now in the front seat. By the way, we do have a storage unit if you want to put that in there in summer hmm. just if, instead of <clears throat> having it around uh okay i give jump directions <laughs> it's over there okay drive there cool. my turn to drive nope cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say about women drivers don't let them. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, no problem. You guys head over. You leave the uh, large explosive device in a otherwise uh, unsuspecting storage unit. I don't see a storage tab for. Oh sure. yeah, I haven't added it yet. Sorry. What? Sorry, Freddy. we don't know me. We don't know Freddy. Me oh, I'll add it. Don't worry. Freddy. I'll make a note. Don't worry. People know where it is. They may have put stuff into it already. Uh, it's been active for one session. They don't. Know. There could be three inflatable dolls in there for all you know. What you're jumping on a planet? Oh. What? Do you have something to that you wanted to drop, gentlemen? Yeah, I'll jump on a pun fail. Okay. There you go. Oh, is a pretty good card. Oh. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'll drop a nada. What do you got? Oh, okay, sure. Take your phone sales then. Okay. It's over there. Boom. That's what happens when you say too much good shit. You end up with too many <laughs> good cards. All right, quickly. In, okay. So once in, we're done with the bomb, I'll get in the car. Yeah. Uh, you guys, you guys sort out the bomb by leaving it somewhere where an RPC can walk in and go, fuck! <laughs> the door <laughs> yeah, nicely well, just played in the middle of the storage shed. Yeah, I'll make that uh, up after this. Gonna pitch the opponent fails, I guess. Hmm. I keep yeah, that some really good I think we're done with forensic work. <clears throat> no problem. Uh, everybody, give me a spot hidden roll at. Uh, hold on, now, let me find out. Uh, at half, as you're just driving uh, away from the storage shed thing. Yep. Holy shit! Okay, <laughs> as you're driving along, you see uh, it looks like some guy in very elaborate Harlequin face paint pointing a crossbow at the car and sighting along it as you're just driving by. Oh, not him, too. Evasive maneuvers. Am I driving? Uh, yes, yes. And you you look at the steering wheel and go, ha-ha. Am I driving? 
Yeah. Put your heads down. I yell to the guys. Uh, all right, I, no problem. I lie down squeal, on the back seat. I squeal the wheel, and I'm going to run over this guy. <laughs> he's, he's not in a good position to get to unless you make a driving roll at a quarter, in which case you'll drive up a really steep bank and then launch the car <laughs> at him and just land on his ass. <laughs> So, it will be a huge surprise for everybody involved. <laughs> but if you fail it, you might go and be upside down. So, because you're pretty much just driving by, and it, it looks like uh, it's an old fashioned crossbow thing. Uh, since you guys made your spots at a quarter, it also has a note on it. This is not a joker, right? Nope. This no, one of the no, no, douchebags with the overthruster. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So, are you going for it, Dana? No. All right. You just keep driving. I'll wiggle around. All right. It goes for it. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, you, you're, and one of your front tires goes out, and you go, uh -huh. you're driving. <laughs> what a fucking shot. Price for impact. No, it says Freddy. It's the cage. He's got a little wire mesh thing in half of his face. <laughs> At least we don't still have the bomb. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen that long. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but you were laying down, so. Yeah, what does it that on? Yeah, they don't really work that way. Um, Dana, how's your driving going? Yeah, about that. <clears throat> Not good, huh? Success. Oh. All right, you managed to stop safely. You don't run over a bunch of kids on bikes or anything like that, which is a big plus. But, yeah, it looks like you may need to make one of your minions change the tire now, is your guess. I uh, grab the uh, radio, and I call in. I pop the trunk. While she's driving. Where no, I stop? pulled over. Oh, okay. Pulled over. Okay. Hey, so, uh, yeah, you go down, pop the trunk. Uh, no problem. What are you saying on the radio? I'm saying uh, police car unit. I look at the dash and say the appropriate. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Attacked by crossbow at the corner of and give our location. All right, no problem. Uh, the old tire has a crossbow bolt with a message tied to it embedded in it. I remove the message from the crossbow bolt and throw the tire in the trunk. All right, done. Uh, I... They tell you to stay put. Your tire's already been changed, apparently, uh, during his spare time uh, in the old 1920s racetrack, Glenn used to be in a pit crew changing the <laughs> tires of Tim Lizzie's and shit. I uh, gets back in the uh, car. And, oh, you've got mail. I have a feeling I know what it says, but I check the message anyway. It says that. <laughs> For those listening and not watching, it was a very faint sigh from well, Glenn. McKay told me that he found the overthruster. Don't say that out loud. So why might be listening. Him? Apparently, he has not relinquished. He can just give it back to them. <laughs> well, I don't know. Or kill them. It's his problem now. Do you want to leave that for him in the embassy? Uh, they tell you that they've got they've got cars coming in to help you or sirens in the distance. I say to look out for the suspect and describe. <laughs> I uh, what is it on a piece of paper? Yes, I burn it. Right. There's a lot of fucking smoke and shit in the cars. He's sitting there burning a piece of paper. You guys are like, they, 
and he goes, oh, God, and he's trying to get out of the car with a burning piece of paper and shit. And it, just as, as he gets out and the paper's on fire, you, cop cars are pulling up and stuff, and he's, like, stomping it out in the background <laughs> and looking super guilty. The cops are, like, vetting out, and they're like, what's going on? What's going on? We got they were attacked. What's happening? Yes, we were attacked. Yep. Nothing to see. Uh, By a person in Heraclin uh, garb with a crossbow. Heraclin? Is that like, did, did, did you mean Heraclip, officer? Harlequin. Harlequin. Yeah. They get an expl- now, now you end up taking an extra 60 seconds to explain what a Harlequin is to them. They go, oh. And then they, they go rushing off and not finding a lot. And they're like, oh, you're, where, where, where were you shot? I pop the trunk and I say, <laughs> "My God, they shot right your over... spare tire!" Oh, that right over there, where the tire marks on the road start. So, how did they're looking at the trunk, like looking for holes and stuff? Dick already really... changed the oh, tire. I changed the tire. She's very talented. I oh. respect her as a person. Damn right you do. Now that was uncalled for. You are still my subordinate. Oh, yeah, it's a boy. Agree with you? <laughs> don't don't take that tone with Saying mouth. you're wrong. <laughs> uh, Discard all talisman cards. Play immediately. <clears throat> don't have any. Cool. Uh, right. Um, cut two. I need a bureaucracy report roll as you guys are pulling <laughs> out a report on this back at the station. All of us will just. Give me your Good support. One. Just one person needs to fill it out. Uh, okay, I'm support. gonna try to support you. Nope, I do not support you. I, Damn right, you don't. That, you have that to doesn't... cross the eyes and dot yeah. the eyes. Shit happened. <laughs> yeah. This report is like shit happened, and I fixed it. That's what. The, yeah. That's what. Because I'm awesome. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, no problem. You guys uh, misfile the reports and then uh, head back to your car and where to? It's getting close to noon again. By the way, if you don't finish the case uh, in the normal time, that's okay. The important thing is that you've been shot at again and almost managed to capture your first wilderness girl. So close. <laughs> yeah, close, yep. Yeah. From now on, Logan, if we're driving anywhere, I'm on lookout duty to see if we're being followed by any suspicious people. You say that now, but you'll forget to say the magic uh, word to me later. Okay. Yeah, you want, okay. I see how it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, then. Um. Okay. Uh, Glenn really wanted to apparently go to the prison and talk to this woman. So let's let him fulfill his dreams. Why, why don't you just call the prison? You do see. these things in person so you he can read. I probably the wanted to like tilt the lamp at Police her. Police work 101. <laughs> Get a grip, Nigel. <laughs> All right, calm down. <laughs> you want a tampon or something? Whoa. <laughs> That was uncalled for. Dana is also that is uncalled for. <laughs> Unless you actually have one and she needs one, then it is very appreciated. <laughs> Don't tease people. Uh, was this still in the station that you guys are talking? No, I think we're in the car. Oh, <laughs> we're still there with people surrounding, searching for an archer. <laughs> Um, yeah, you you guys uh, drive to the uh, prison, and you're doing the thing where you're Counter talking. Surveillance. There you yes. go. That was the word. Crit. Yeah, that is the word. All right. If you're being followed, they're far too wily for the likes of your feminine eyes. Yeah. Mm. We're clean. Mm. Uh, no problem. Yeah. You, you don't think anybody's currently following you. Mm. Check back later. So you guys get to the prison, and it's one of those things where it's like the plastic window, and then uh, they got a phone on their side, and you got a phone on your side. And uh, the lady comes up. She she looks like 
definitely kind of rough and stuff. Like prison has not been kind to her. She picks up the phone, glares at you. Hi. I'll stand authoritatively behind Glenn. All right. Um, she goes, what do you want? She talks to Glenn. We're here about Terry Purcell. Yeah, I know Terry Purcell. You want information on Terry, huh? Understand you didn't like her very much. No, no. But if you want information on Terry, hmm. you have to do something for me. What's that? I want you to go stand over next to that wall. Pretend to be a dragon. Really? Yeah. Is that... Yeah. Um, I want you growling and using your claws and shit. Go do that. Can I do it do right Do you here? hear this or is it just... No, you guys can hear it coming through the phone on your head and you're like... I whisper in his other ear. I don't think she's going to give it up if you do that. Well. Claws eyes out. I have a Claws mean dragon out. impression, let me tell you. But oh, yeah? I want to hear what you see. got first. Uh, yeah, no. First the dragon or nothing. Yeah, dragon or nothing. Come on, Tuts. Come on, I want to see that Oriental dragon, she says. Uh, <laughs> would, you, would you like a black dragon instead? No, no, I want her to do dragon. Come on, do it. Do it. Hey, hey if you don't want to do it, I'll just do put it. down this phone and walk away. You do it? I'll do it. Let's see Glenn act like a dragon a little bit. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I walk over. <laughs> you go, <laughs> you go, ooh, 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 yeah. Yeah, she appears to be getting really into it. She goes, all right, all right. Sure. She was she was letting the girls go in there and like smuggling them in and smuggling them out, but not me because I got really high on fucking PCP and I thought I was a fucking god and I was gonna smite all those motherfuckers and then she got busted. Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna fucking take her out when I get out of here in four years, three months, twenty-seven days, sixteen hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that dragon's going to keep me warm in my cell tonight, you naughty, naughty oriental girl dragon. Yeah. That's all you got? I got toilet brush with your name on it. <laughs> Need more than that. A bigger toilet brush? I don't know. What are you after? <laughs> <sighs> Look, they don't really give us a lot to work with here, okay? I mean, okay, Ask fisting. Uh, I'll yeah, go as much Arabians, Glenn. But I already know that she is letting the girls in and out. Tell me about the cameras. All right. This time I want you to go over, grab the uh, wall, and then arch your back and look back at me and make that dragon face at oh, me. I already did a thing and you gave me nothing. I gave you a lot of shit. Come on. We already knew that. Go touch the wall and do that. Yeah, arch your back. Just do it. Arch the back. Yeah, yeah. It's not you she doing really it, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have a hard life, you're thinking. The other, the other prisoners have like kind of twisted this <laughs> way. They're kind of desultorily yeah. talking. The other people who are on their phones are like, I'm, and some of them look really oh, concerned. Uh, why the guards is why the lady guards is just like, go put on a show. No, <laughs> you flail around like a uh, pregnant yak with two club feet. This appears to amuse and titillate your 
uh, person you're talking to. All right, sure. I'm sorry, what was the question again? She said I was really into that. <laughs> she fans herself. <laughs> Tell me about the cameras. Oh, yeah, Terry Terry would uh, uh, short them out somehow. I don't really know how, but I guess she didn't want to get seen going in and out with, you know, hookers and stuff. What about the cameras in the rooms? What cameras in the rooms? Wait, Next are you question. saying there was cameras in the room? Next question. What kind of cameras? Where were they at? Does she have any tapes of me? Uh-huh. Okay, cool. I want copies. <laughs> you put them on a, a, some sort of like internet thing for me or something, you know, and like a charge site, you know, Did. something like that. Did Terry have a favorite pen? What do you mean a favorite pen? Found a really fancy fountain pen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. Now, this time, I want you to ride the black man and pretend to be a dragon oh. as he carries you around. Yeah. This time, <laughs> I'm to email you those coat. videos. Yeah, no, I'm... Yeah, I want to see you riding the black man around okay. and being a dragon. Yeah, I, I, no, this is going to keep. This is going to do me good for now. Yeah, I... you do conjugal visits. I start doing stretches to get ready. Ready. He's stretching out and getting ready. This is a bit of a. I... And does it have strength well for me to carry him around? Oh, that'd be great. You <laughs> don't really need to roll to ride him. Like, I mean, he's just going to carry you around as you're pretending to be a dragon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He carries you around like a, the little Asian woman you are. The guards, everybody stop talking and stuff and just staring at, like, what? 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 The guard comes over and uh, she tells lady, your time is up. She goes, oh. I do a flip out of his arms. Uh, a couple of people uh, uh, do polite applause and stuff. The, <laughs> guard, the guards drag off the person you were talking to. She's like, I'm so hot. I'm so hot. <laughs> and they drag her off. Wow. <laughs> And wow. Any other questions, officers? <laughs> As the uh, prison people. Well, does anybody else like a that line? Wait, who who is talking to us? Uh, one of the guards on your side of the glass. Uh, she usually like that. Um, usually, people don't humor her like that. Mm -hmm. The prison lady prison guard just shakes her head at you. She's like, she's going to be a handful tonight, I'll tell you what. I feel sorry for her cellmate. Yeah. I'm, maybe you should go now. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Right, you guys leave the prison to the scattered applause in the background, mostly from the prisoners. There are people are staring at you guys like, what happened? My turn to drive. You've earned it. <laughs> what about me? I had to carry him. He immediately uh, crashes into their car in the parking uh, lot. You want to be all? Uh, <laughs> oh, you have three. Oh, you have three. Okay, fine. You've earned it. <laughs> this is why you don't get a drink. All right. Yeah. yeah. You might do uh, get out of the parking lot without smashing up the car, which is super great. Uh, where do you want to drive to? That'd have been fucking hilarious. If you uh, okay. what are we <laughs> I don't like you guys. Back to the station. All right. You guys arrive back at the station. Kyle Duck, Kyle Duck. Surveillance as we go. Ooh, roll your counter surveillance. Uh, she's alive a bit. 
there. Holy shit, when you get close to the station and stuff, you do uh, see some guy in, on a motorcycle with a helmet on and you got some sort of coat, but you can see like a little bit of purple coat sticking out from underneath the other coat. <laughs> oh. Uh, I blow this together too. Now, you are in a good position to try to run him over if you want to. <laughs> However, it is kind of almost in front of the police station, and you are going to be swerving into oncoming traffic to try to knock him off of his bike because he's just doing a drive by in the opposite lane right now. And you're not positive it's him, but on the other hand, not a lot of people wear a purple coat. So if Freddy is correct, which who knows, maybe he is, maybe he's just making shit up, see if he can get you into major traffic accident. Yeah. Just not sure. I do the thing where you swerve and stop in front of him and see if he runs into us. Ah, okay. Give me a driving roll. That'll cause uh, this individual to attempt to make a driving roll. Oh, yeah. You do it like you're in a fucking cop show. He just goes around. <laughs> You're like, God damn, he knows how to fucking ride a motorcycle. Well, worth a shot. Okay, to the police station. We'll All get right. you next time, Joker. <laughs> I like it when she makes the threats Joker. I'll give him a card for that, and there's a card for that, and him a card for actually remembering to say counter surveillance, which I'm not so, uh, hey guys, you. hooray! What was that? You oh, got the God God I hate you. Damn me. <laughs> we oh, all... Oh, my hand. Oh, my You guys are back at the police station, and aren't you full of joy? All right, still in the car. Well, Glenn, did you get all of the answers you wanted? <clears throat> nope. Well, then. <clears throat> you guys got any ideas? If you see the Joker again, make sure you run him over. Well, I meant relating to the case. Oh. <laughs> I stabbed blankly at you. I don't think we ever did background research on... Various people. No. Let's see if they have a connection to the Arabs or any of this crazy shit going on. Um. So let's spitball some theories again. Of the lady in the prison it did confirm that it was um, Terry who was short circuiting the videos yeah um kind of figured that already but. The, well i was trying to put a spin to that scene for you so you didn't feel so cheap but <laughs> mm -hmm. um oh yeah we need to figure out what the deal is with the pen that's something we haven't done anything with that yet yeah um, I mean, we could talk to Terry's family. Mm. Um, it seems potentially like she would not have shared any of this with them voluntarily. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. She but... be pretty good at putting up a facade. I guess if we want to be thorough, we um, search the house, talk to the family. So the idea is that the is probably having to do with the um, water rights. And we can't really tell when those players were in town. Because there's no timestamps on anything. <laughs> um, 
might be able to narrow down who hadn't flown in or like if there's any local people, but really they all could have been using yeah, we a, looked an up, assassin anyway. We looked up the Arabs and they had all been in town at some point. Well. Oh, you mean who was in town? The, when she was murdered would be where I'm, what I'm trying to solve. Thought we looked at that, but we can double check. Okay. Mm, here in a bunch of research rolls. Well, I don't. I don't think that we have anything new to research yet. If we want to research the pen, we want to research background stuff on Terry and Bob Ryder and any other players here. See if there's any unexpected connections. Is Bob just the, he's the head of security guy? Yeah. Um, well, I suppose the security, we didn't talk to the security people who were on duty <laughs> that night. Hmm. Um, I don't think really anything would be to gain, be to gain, um, to find out like what room the meeting took place. I don't think that somebody left a important why I did it notebook <laughs> behind. Even if they did, it would be gone by now. Yeah. So what was her, I think the big question was, is we're assuming because it sticks out weird that she kept it as important. Um, why would lots of assumptions here but why would people who were planning a water rights deal that did not it, it didn't seem was, was it the mad it was definitely the magic users that it didn't seem like they had reached a conclusion what did we do empathy uh, rolls off of the water rights people the, the water rights people is only just one of many different uh, conversations and stuff like that. It was just being used as an example for the kind okay. of things. After we did our research, I'm pretty sure we were all in agreement that the magic related things had nothing to do with this particular Yeah, case. I was just trying to like, I remember on how they were dissatisfied with each other. I was wondering if there was a similar conflict in the other conversations no, that people left everything. unhappy? Uh, I mean, various levels of happy or unhappiness <laughs> and stuff. I, you know, I, it, like I said, it's just a lot of uh, uh, businessmen, ambassadors, or both sitting around talking to each other about, you know, high, highly important decisions to somebody out there. So our unknown questions is why is Terry recording them for herself, for others? Why would she be killed over it? And then who would be that agent? We mentioned blackmail. It was not for sexual reasons, but blackmail of these are backdoor negotiations that are not supposed to be happening would be something she could use as blackmail and people would get upset about it. Uh, she stole uh, someone's yeah. pen. She could have, and she's recording so much stuff, she could have recorded something that she wasn't trying to record and somebody thought they were going to blackmail. She was going to blackmail them over it. Well, that goes under who knew that they were being recorded. None of the call girls knew that they were being recorded. So is there a unknown partner then? That's fairly typical. Yeah. <clears throat> Freddie, like, do you need a cough drop? Are you okay? Secretly rewired in the fucking room without anybody noticing. No, that's just yeah, how did she bug every single room without anybody noticing? Um, well, the maids all really seem to like her <laughs> as far as that. <laughs> the maids have issues. Beyond <laughs> just your <laughs> gestures. 
Beyond your hand gestures, did the maids have uh, ongoing issues? Probably. <laughs> Let's go inside, figure out what the deal with the pen is. What would you, you, guys, you guys get out of the car and begin marching in and stop, and let Freddie out of the car and then begin marching in. Yeah, you guys head on into the uh, police station and cool. uh, you uh, go research the pen. Yeah. Sure, just give me simple research roles, unless you want to use a computer and you're from the 1920s, in which case I'll need their computer use role because it's not up to 60. I'll yet. use the computer. You, I know I, yours is over 60. I made a computer use role earlier. Yes, but it's under 60. It's like a language, and it's a language mm. you don't speak. You're not even sure what actually makes uh, it work. As far as you know, it could be magical hey, fairies in the box. Some... Somebody can... turn on my computer for me. <laughs> All right, go ahead and press the button for him. All right, no problem. Um, he typed in something like delete all and the, you know, anyway, um, no problem. Everybody go ahead and give me a research roll on this pen. Yes. Oh, yeah. All, all you can really find out about the pen is, um, it's quite expensive. You find one uh, that's being sold for like four hundred dollars uh, online somewhere. Um, it's the kind that you can refill yourself. Um, it's elegant yet stately. It's not like an antique or anything. It's just a no, no, fancy it's a, designer product. Yeah, it's the kind of shit that uh, people with some money uh, say, you know, I, I need to write with one of these kind of pens and such. So I can did we give the pen to? It's an evidence. Do they have it? Let's go pull oh, it out of oh, okay. the bag and take a look at it. You guys go to evidence and glove up. Oh, good. Take a card for remembering to glove up. You guys play with the pen. I'll flip you back to the uh, uh, pictures so you can look at it some more. It failed to reveal any new secrets, though. It still appears to be a normal, empty fountain pen. The cap is bigger than the pen. Does it have a secret compartment or something? No, no. no. It's bigger so it can show you how fancy it is. Uh, a little bit heavy, uh, which makes you suspicious, but a quick check. Now, there's what you see is what you get. Did it get printed? Uh, it was in a washing machine. Washing machine will mm -hmm. definitely get rid of it, right. but it didn't. It it uh, didn't spread its ink around, so it must have been empty prior to going in. So, uh, apparently, uh, she was carrying around a empty fountain pen. Open it up. Is there a cartridge inside? No, it, it's it's the kind that you put loose ink into and stuff. Has it ever had ink in it? Um, not that you can see. Again, the washing machine. Did we find it, it in her pocket, or was it just banging around in there? Uh, apparently, it was banging around in there. Whether it was in her pocket before she started getting the wash cycle or not, you're uncertain. If it's mightier than the sword, though, you fail to see how. I mean, you'd much rather be stabbed with this than like a broadsword. Has it ever been, with my research role, given as a award or some sort of commendation, the style of pen? I'm sure that somebody somewhere gave one, but uh, you don't find anything that seems relevant to anything. Wondering. Yes, you do. It's hers or murderers. Did <gasps> <gasps> uh, you just come up with a brilliant idea? Is that the brilliant idea look? Well, 
Looking back in my photographs of her thing, did she have ink filling apparatus at her desk or anywhere else? Not that you saw. No fountain pen paraphernalia. Uh, you mean blotting paper and stuff that'd be typical in the 1920s? Yeah. No. Anything that would be needed to use this particular pen? Paper? Okay. She has plenty of paper in her desk. Of, of uh, filling this thing with ink, ink. Uh, not in her desk, no. We could look through the videos and see if anybody has a fancy pen in those. <sighs> That's a lot of fucking hours looking for a pen. Plus, you fast forwarded through and didn't notice a pen. I mean, sure, they could have fucking pulled it out for a couple of frames and put it back. Just went, aha! <laughs> Just check the videos that stood out to us though uh, you you're definitely sure it wasn't in any of the uh, videos that we discussed in detail okay <sighs> yes yeah. all right size give me strength <laughs> so it's somebody who knows her it's somebody who knows that she blocks out the cameras Somebody that she blocked the cameras out for or knew how to do it also. This type of pen might have like a serial number or something. Be like one of a set of 400. So it's extra expensive. No, no, it's, it's expensive. It's well made. It's not that cool. Okay. It's it, the pen itself seems to be. As far as the manufacturer goes, etc., you, you spend a good half an hour just trying to beat down some sort of lead. Uh, you find one was given to uh, the the uh, uh, prime minister of Australia once as a uh, thank you very much for not destroying an Aboriginal tribe uh, completely. I mean, they partially decimated them, but you know, it's an Australia. It's know. a start, right? And then that leads you to, and you begin going down a rabbit hole of just weird, wild speculation of bullshit. So there's no, like, registry of people who own these? No, definitely not. Okay. What's the manufacturer for fun? Bic. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a small, fairly anonymous company. Her. Okay. Right. Um, I want to research Bob Ryder. All right. No problem. Uh, go ahead and give me a research roll on that. I tell them I'm researching Bob Ryder. Cool. No problem. You find apparently there there was some uh, uh, there's a porn star named Bob Ryder, chosen <laughs> Miss Ballard, and he's like looking at all these movie titles and stuff, and he's just like, I can't believe how many different movies this guy did. Hundreds of fucking movies. Since I mean, that one on the clock, he got some heavy plastic surgery before you met him, apparently. But <laughs> by God, he just, he was like, the, his, his uh, uh, porn name was the Jackhammer for some reason. Hidden depths. Hidden depths. Um, you guys see this? I'm yeah. researching Terry. We, I don't feel like we have researched. And stop showing, put, tilt the screen the other way. Oh my God. <laughs> He does the guy my paperwork. He looks at the pretty Asian girls, like watching just some horrifying hardcore porn. He's like, not gonna go to HR. He says, nope, nope, I'm not getting sensitive sensitivity training. He continues doing his paperwork as he goes by. I'm gonna look up Terry Purcell and who her partners and her endeavors have been. Um, well, right. Give me a research role. Lower is better. Let me just take a little look at my hand here. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, oh, we'll the other. See if he does any angle scenes. Wow. They're Still into that, huh, Freddy? Yeah, they are. I send him the link. <laughs> oh. Uh, right. Apparently, <sighs> according to the research he did, she is the general manager of the Ambassador Hotel. <laughs> It shows her, uh, uh, and also she uh, uh, is involved with some sort of charity for removal of landmines and uh, all over the world. Uh, they do specialize in Cambodia because they have a lot of unexploded <laughs> ordnance there. And, yeah, and for just one dollar, you can uh, uh, remove a landmine from Cambodia. So if you mail my ten dollars, then they swear that they'll find 10 landmines even if they have to plant them themselves and remove them afterward all right i am wondering if i am able to play and i've got it here somewhere as a personal contact to um some buddy here on the force who really likes me and would right away drop whatever they were doing and give me all of the dish on someone who I asked them about. No, it's kind of more of a gear card. <laughs> okay. What? what am I, top liver? Yes. <laughs> yes, you are. You're over okay. there watching. It just shows the well, then, you're I guess I'll screen. ask Freddie. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, Freddie, find can, all of the things about Terry, please. Can you give me five minutes? <laughs> as long as I don't have to check in on Glenn, yes, absolutely. Go ahead. Take Glenn off to the men's room. <laughs> That'll be weird. Just stay. Super awkward. Stay. Uh, I'll be with you right in now. five minutes. Uh, Hey. <laughs> he hurries hey. up to the bathroom for a while. All right, uh, this, uh, um, uh, I come back and I'm like, so what did you want me to research? Terry Purcell. Right. We're looking Anything for... In particular or? Yeah, we're looking for people who'd want to murder her. Former partners. Current partners. Right. Oh, so general stuff, got it. Partners or that. Or is better. All right. And he chose him like, <laughs> it chose him type in Terry Purcell, and then he chose the same porn page come up. <laughs> oh. chose, chose a guy who is also named Bob Ryder with a Y instead of an I, and shows him like, woo, and he's whirling around a shirt above his head. I'm going to need another 10 minutes. Shtick. <laughs> Shtick. I X uh. out without looking. Just stop looking at that. Look up Terry Purcell. Oh, okay. Look up Bob Ryder. No. Okay. Thing. I made it. I'll look it up. Okay, Glenn, you find something interesting. First off, she's been working for the same hotel as general manager for the last 20 years. Started 20 pretty years. young. But she, the interesting thing is she doesn't seem to have existed before that. As far as who her partner is, she, I, I guess whatever large faceless corporation owns the hotel because they're hotels like that are not owned by individuals uh, unless they're Trapu once put his fucking name on it and then bankrupt it or whatever. But for um, normal hotels, they're generally owned by like the board and the corporation. So, so she really doesn't have a partner. Um, a lot of glowing reports on like what a wonderful person she is and you know getting various uh charitable awards i mean every every uh christmas and thanksgiving she puts in some time at the uh local soup kitchen uh because the homeless only need to be fed twice a year mm -hmm. after that fuck them they're on their own but for those two days every year they get food <laughs> Nobody goes out in fucking April to feed the homeless. No, no. Thanksgiving. Blah. Oh. Let's see if she matches any missing persons cases. Maybe she used to be a porn star before all this. Oh. Don't encourage it, Freddie. Maybe a, maybe a prostitute. Just stop. Since she's got a soft spot. 
she was yeah, yeah. According to your research, she uh, did not have anything, no high school, no uh, driver's license, no nothing. Definitely no police record, completely clean. In fact, I would say in the last 20 years, she has been the model American. I mean, no, okay. I'm not talking about the model Florida person where they got a bunch of guns and they're doing stuff and shit. I'm not talking about that. I mean, the model American, the way Americans think of themselves. Idolized. Right. I mean, not even a parking ticket. Wow. We yeah. should talk to her family. Let's go drive to her house. Woo! You guys pile into the car. Count to All right. You said it. Yeah. Roll it. This way we'll be seen when we're blown up. Yay. We'll know. We'll know. You'll know who's done it. Oh, now that you're already going, I see how it is. Uh, yeah, other than some uh, somebody on a motorcycle way, way back, like super far back, easy to lose if you wanted to, far back. Other than that, absolutely nothing. Blah. So, you guys head over to the home of the victim at last. Uh, I, I'm moving that because I'm trying to show you oh. cards and stuff. Okay. Just, just so, sorry. I was looking at the picture. Uh huh. I know which pictures you were looking at. And now, when you pull up to the address across the street, you see an old lady is working on some bushes. Everybody give me botany rolls as she's uh, pruning her, her bushes stuff. Bought, uh, bought for you, but right. Freddie's like, oh my God, those are actually I giant pot plants that are made. Got it. Like. Oh, uh, it's the wrong season to be pruning these bushes. You're thinking if she was to wait in there a couple months, then it would be more logical. Right now, it's not a good time to do it. But uh, you look at the very American style home. They even have the flag flying out uh, on the uh, door thing. And uh, it's got the two car garage and all that uh, across the street. You go talk to the neighbor. You command your boss who stares at you ominously. I, I walk over there. Sounds good. So, we, okay, uh, Dana's going to the neighbor and you're going to the house? No, I'm going to the nope. neighbor. That's what you're I going to the neighbor place. and Dana's going to the house. Got it. Okay. Neighbor's like, oh, hello. Would you like a cup of tea? Hello. You neighbors with uh, Terry Purcell? That's right. You live here? Yes, I do. Can you tell me about her? Would you like a cup of tea? Sure. She invites you on in. Meanwhile, you two go up to the front door. The um, after I'm assuming. Wait, do you want to knock on it? Pick the lock, kick it in. What? <laughs> we'll knock. Oh, that's nice. Right. The husband answers the door. Then he comes out and he says, "Yes." Hello. Uh condolences to you about uh, your wife. Who are you? Flash the badge. Oh. I, Detective I'm, investigating. Would you like to come in? Yes, please. Ah, very good, Mr. Investigating. He invites <laughs> you guys in, and after you're both in, then he goes in the house after you. This is very unusual. Most people don't step outside, greet you, let you go in and then go inside and close the door. This is striking you as super odd. But inside the house, uh, you notice that there's a lot of things going on. Let me show you a bunch of pictures. I'm going to get back to you in a bit, Scott, since you have chosen to split up the party because you're a horrible person. Hey, uh, I'm still here. Uh, you all should me. So, now, uh, let's see. The... Uh, 
Okay, hold on a second here. Now that you're actually back on the case. Um, oh, Dana, go ahead and give me a, a news, uh, give me a learn times one roll. Ha. You can do it. Never mind, it's not ready yet. Mm -hmm. I did not do it. Super weird, you think. Anyway, um, the husband, uh, he says, my name is Oliver. Uh, before he starts babbling at you, which he's going to do in a second, looking around the house, uh, as you can see in the pictures, there are some girls in the uh, kitchen and stuff like that. One of them appears to be his daughter. There's look like friends of hers and stuff. Living room, the couch cushions are compressed all the way across. Um, also, in the living room, it looks like part of it's been taken over as a home office. There's a movie ticket for a matinee during the work week uh, there. Uh, there's also a printer full of high-end cardstock. And in the guest bedroom downstairs, right off the living room, is damp towels and the husband's toiletries. The husband says, my name is Oliver. I, we were just shattered by the news. I, I don't know what to say. Everybody loved Terry. No one would want to hurt her. My, my poor daughter is devastated. What can I do to help? It's a terrible thing. Yes. I would like for you to please just tell me about Terry and um, what if you have any uh, ideas of if she was acting oddly or anything she's mentioned at home. Anyone who's you know been around your house. 